Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a now playing rack so that whenever I play one of my vinyl records, I have a place to display the album cover. Back in the 80s, I used to hang out at record stores a lot, and there aren't too many of those around these days. Uh, but we had stores like Record Bar, Camelot Music, Oz Records. Uh, but here in Atlanta, we had a local chain called Turtles Records and Tapes, and those were my favorite stores. Uh, in a recent video, I made some wall racks where I could store all my albums on the wall and be able to flip through them and get that retro feeling of being in a record store. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, but in the stores in those days, they had a rack on the wall where they would play an album and display the album cover uh, so you would know what you're listening to while you're in the store. So I thought it would be cool to make one of those uh, with the Turtles Records and Tapes logo on it. So uh, let's get started. I'm making this project out of this half inch Baltic birch plywood. I'm going to use the X-Carve CNC machine that's provided by Inventables, the sponsor of this video, to cut it out. If you'd like to shop for an X-Carve, I'll put a referral link in the video description below so you can check it out. So the first step is to do the design. So let's head into the office and I'll show you what I've come up with in the Inventables easel software. I found the old Turtles Records and Tapes logo on Google Images and I found a matching font to create the additional text that I needed. I imported the text objects into the Inventables easel software and resized them for the project. The rack will have a backboard that is 13 by 17 inches with the Turtles Records and Tapes logo engraved at the top and everything's going to be cut with an 8th inch straight bit. With every project I like to try something new so this time I'm going to add some keyholes to use for mounting it on the wall. If I made another one with a different record store logo on it, these keyholes would make it easy to swap them out. I combine the now playing text with the rectangle underneath to make it one solid object. It will be connected to the backboard using dowels to create the shelf for the record cover to sit on. I added two shallow dowel holes in the backboard, then I flipped the now playing object upside down and added mating dowel holes on the back. I'll put a link to open this easel project in the video description below in case you want to make one of these yourself with a CNC or just use the template to make one with other tools. Let's head over to the X-Carve and cut it out. It only took about 45 minutes for the X card to cut out this project and all I need to add to it are a couple of pieces of this quarter inch dowel. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are two and a half inches long and I'll use those to connect the now playing object to the backboard. Uh, since this project is mostly done on the CNC, it seems like a really good candidate to sell on my Etsy store. Uh, so if any of you are interested in buying one of these now playing racks, uh, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do some more and put them on my Etsy store. So uh, let's cut these out and then sand everything smooth. So one thing I learned about this Baltic birch plywood is that if you're cutting all the way through you don't get as many fuzzies around the edges but if you're just engraving with a straight cut bit you're going to end up with a lot of fuzzies that you have to clean up also when you cut pockets in plywood you don't really know what the plies underneath the surface are going to look like and here i cut 0.05 inches deep and it looks like that's right where the two plies were uh, glued together so i'm going to have to do a cleanup sanding inside the pockets as well I 
I decided I'm going to paint the Turtles logo red and the records and tapes line is going to be black and the now playing object at the bottom is going to be green. But before I paint any of the text on the backboard, I'm going to spray the whole thing with this clear spray lacquer. And that's going to seal the wood and finish the natural sections of the board. Uh, but it also is going to prevent the paint uh, from soaking into the wood grain around the letters. And that's going to make it easier to sand off. finish are all dry, I can attach the now playing sign to the backboard. Well, this project is done and I think it turned out looking pretty cool. Let's go inside and see what it looks like on the wall. Before we do that though, I want to thank Inventables again for sponsoring this project. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future projects. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this project. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.